All right, I'm going to get started. All right, we've got a lot to cover today. Uh, if you're wanting to lose weight, you come to the right place. My name's Travis Martin. I've lost over 100 pounds on the program. Come off all prescription medications. Uh, this morning, uh, formerly over 300 pounds. This morning, I weighed in at a ready 189 pounds. I weigh less now than I did in the eighth grade, and I owe it to Jesus, and I owe it to food combinations. <laughs> so, and support, great support from my Shibola family. Of course, I lost the weight before I had a Shibola family, and I didn't have the support that we all have today, but I owe a lot of my weight management and pursuing a better body to y'all. Uh, I feel quite certain that I would have been like almost everyone that loses weight and puts it all back on without my Shibola family. I would have relapsed. But because of y'all and because your love for me and my love for you, every day that I just want to throw my hands up in there and say, forget it, I remember who I'm doing this for. So I owe you so much. If you're new here, we want to make sure that you go through the Fast Track program. Uh, get through Fast Track. These live sessions that I do every day at 10.30 a.m., unless something crazy comes up, I'm here. Monday through Friday at 10.30. I've been doing this for months and months now to show our commitment to helping each and every member that wants to lose weight, ensuring that they have a practical, sustainable, and fun program where a real person supports you. And when I say real person, I mean real person. In the very near future, weight loss programs will not have real people supporting them. Not, uh, not of the scale that ours is. You'll end up having artificial intelligence. Uh, it, won't be, it won't be somebody with a heart that's trying to help you. So you remember that when all this stuff comes out, because it's coming, I'm, I, stay, I stay ahead of the game. I can't do what the rest of them's doing because it takes endless resources to plug that stuff in. But I just demoed a new weight loss program that's coming. And uh, the support, it looks like a person's talking, okay, but it's artificial intelligence. Uh, and it's not a real person. And you can kind of feel it as they get to know, as you get to know, it's just a little off and you can feel it. It's just something the spirit's lacking. So I just want y'all to know that more than ever, Shibola, the Shibola family, we're uncommon and we're going to become more uncommon in the future because we're going to put Christ first. This world, you remember Brother Travis told you this. This world, not in five years, this year, before the end of the year, you're going to think you're living in the future. It's going to get very futuristic real fast. and. Uh, I want you to know you're a part of a program that's going to put Jesus Christ first. And it's because of that that we get the results that we get here, all of us. It's because we surrender daily to the Holy Spirit. We, too, are going to be leveraging a lot of the amazing technological developments that are coming. But we're not going to replace real people okay so you're going to get support here and uh today's part of that support we always want to make sure that you know if you hit a mental roadblock if you hit uh, a place in time and you will in your weight loss journey where you're demotivated confused frustrated we're going to be here for you now because we're a small team dealing with thousands of people you might have to keep yelling, but we'll come running as soon as we hear you, okay, or see you. So anyway, get through that fast track material. Is there anybody here I can see? I don't even need to ask this because I see it on my accountability report. There's a lot of people that haven't earned their fast track badge. This is a good week for you to earn that fast track badge. 
if you haven't, I want you to commit to doing it. It doesn't take long at all, okay? Uh, today, we're going to be doing website navigation so that you know um, how to go through after Fast Track what you'll do next, okay? It's always been a hodgepodge of videos, and you had to just kind of learn as you went, but we're putting together a structured program. May the 1st, today, is the day that we changed our um, our, our corporation, basically. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go about things completely different. We're going to start valuing this program, and we're going to hope that you'll value it too. And uh, God will bless us if we'll all start valuing this program. And um, one of the ways we value it is, uh, first of all, this may sound, this may sound embellishing uh, when I say value this program, but you got to know my heart and why I say that. I'm not talking about valuing me. I believe that this program, as it is put together and designed, is from God. I believe that he could have used any vessel that he wanted to use to provide this program. People, people debate all the time, well, Travis, a lot of this stuff that you teach, it's out there. But yeah, it's not in one package like this. And it wasn't based on a perfect day holiday, a hot, cold day in the Lord. It, there's a lot of things about this program that as I look back and see the breadcrumbs and how they laid out, this program is from God. And uh, we have got to start valuing it. One of the reasons that through the years I've just, you know, come across as, uh, you know, doing just doing stuff freely and, you know, willy-nilly was because I didn't value myself. But God has spoken to me and said, I want you to go through all that so that you would understand that doing things your way, devaluing yourself and allowing other people to devalue the program uh, is not the way we go. It's not the way we're going to go. Uh, this, this program's from God. So when I say we're going to start valuing it, I want you to understand, I believe I'm your fellow servant. This program is not just about weight loss. It's not. It's about us becoming all we can be in Christ. Loving ourselves, caring for ourselves, and loving and caring for others. That is loving God. That's the Great Commission. How about that? God, people say that God's rules and commands are so grievous and hard. It starts with loving yourself and loving your neighbor. How's that grievous and hard? And what we're doing is we're all this this little family, we're coming up out of the world. We still got to be here in the world, but we ain't got to be of it anymore. And we're going to do this together. If you want to lose weight, you come to the right place. We're going to have fun. We're against judgment here. We're against shame here. We're against regret here. We're against all that stuff, accusation. We're about the following. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, and faith. Can I get a shout? There's no law against those things. No law. I'm going to do my best to be one of many of the leaders to come of Shibboleth. It is May 1st. We just celebrated our 10th year, or this is our 10th year as Shibboleth, and it's fitting that we become something different today. And I want to share with you, we're going to overcome the algorithms. We're going to overcome, it's not by my strength, but by the strength of God. We're going to overcome the algorithms, the shadow banning. We're going to overcome it all. And we're going to lose weight. And not just for ourselves, but to inspire those around us to do that too. So let's get started. So we've got today the 21-day challenge starts. It's fitting that we would go back to a challenge that I wrote down probably around 2015. It's probably been the most popular challenge I've ever done. And people literally lose, some people lose more than 21 pounds in 21 days. Some people lose less. But it doesn't matter. The 21 day challenge is a fantastic way to get started with Shibboleth while you're earning your fast track badge. We, we focus our sights and attention on going for it. Now, if you don't have a lot of weight to lose, we'll look at percentage of body weight. But we're, we've got a goal to lose up to 21 pounds in only 21 days with only 21 foods. 
How many approved foods are there on planet Shibboleth, y'all? Thousands. How many recipes? Thousands. It's endless. The variety's endless. Amazing variety. Limitless because you are limitless. We've never done a program. We drive people crazy in the industry because even when they try to copy us, within three months later, there's more added, there's more changes. It drives people crazy. All that variety is what keeps you excited and keeps you going. But there's sometimes that we have to batten down the hatches, narrow our field of view, get focused, get determined for like 21 days, focusing on just a few foods. And then we go right back to the lifestyle. Now, of everyone here, Tammy, could you grab the class notes, the, the recent ones, you know, I redone them. Do you mind putting those in here for everybody that might want to get started? The class notes. I, the first one I sent out had an error and I had to resend it. Thank you, Tammy. So here's your class notes. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. If you're not motivated to do a challenge right now, figure out how to get motivated. You're not going to want to miss this one, y'all. So here's our class notes. Uh, goes through the write up here. Here's your video. I'm sorry the video's so long. Once, when God, can I, would y'all agree with me? We don't have that many brand new people here right now, and I feel like most of you are family. We're trying to do something different, not just business. Y'all have heard me out of the time, if you started with me back in 2003, out of the time I've been doing this, you've heard me have to beg for resources every year but two years. Every year you've had to hear me beg, haven't you? Think about it. God's really blessed me this morning. You've heard me have to beg for resources. Now imagine if that was you. How many of you here hate to hate begging? I hate it. You can't even explain it. I've begged God to give me the resources for years. I said, God, and here's why God hadn't blessed me. Julie Marandino would get a kick out of this. She's going to go, I told you. So here's why the Holy Spirit said, Here, here's why. If I had a given you resources, you would have done exactly what you said that you would do. You would have made this program free to everybody. How many of you know I'm telling the truth? I know some of you believe in me. You've watched me too long to, to not know that if God blessed me with financial, uh, financial resources, that I would have made it all free. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, that's exactly why I haven't provided you resources. Because when you give something like this away for free, there's no value in people's minds and hearts to it. It's a pearl of great price. It's a treasure hidden in the field. And the one that finds it is willing to sell all to obtain it. And I, I got, I mean, I just got, I just shuddered. I had a great day in the Lord yesterday. I got done preaching. I ain't done that in a long time. And the Holy Spirit dealt with me. I said, but I want to do it for free because I want people to know it's about, my, and, and the Lord said, I take care of all that. You need to value the program. And I'm telling y'all, one of the reasons I got a two-hour video here is because until today, I had never had the resources to have enough team members to even do the editing of the videos. I'm a one-stop shop. I got some great teammates, but basically, I got to do all this stuff. Can't do it. So you got a two-hour video, but I'm, I'm doing that thing I said I would never do. I'm claiming in the name of Jesus that the resource is coming. I'm claiming in the name of Jesus that God's going to put it on the hearts and minds of people to come and let Shibboleth heal them 
I know that God is going to turn things around. I can feel it in my heart today. Can y'all feel it? So that we have the resource and we're not going to give it away for free. Holy Spirit said, I had to let you go through all that and try to give it away for free for you to see that won't work. <laughs> I said, but I don't want to be like the world. I want to give it away. Yeah, but no, but that King David said, says, I'm not going to make any kind of offering that I don't have to pay for or it wouldn't be worth anything. And you know what? When you put some skin in the game, your time, your money, oh, you take things a lot more serious then, don't you? I know I do. But anyway, I tried to make myself too much like God over the years so people to feel good about me because I was giving all this away for free. Meanwhile, I've about destroyed my own life. And God said, the Holy Spirit said, it's done. It's done now. I'm rewiring your brain for you to value yourself. See, it's part of the fat boy it's part of the fat boy journey that I've been on. Y'all understand? So I'm teaching you right now, whether you know it or not. You think I'm rambling, but I'm teaching you right now. It's the fat boy journey I've been on. I look in that mirror. I looked in the mirror this morning. Men, women, I looked in the mirror. After I got done with my workout. I was there naked, N-E-W-K-E-D, beside my wife. My wife said, good Lord, you look good. I said, well, thank you, honey. And I looked in the mirror, and I thought, let me look at myself because she pointed it out and I'm like, I do look good. For years, every time that I looked in that mirror, e even yesterday, the day before yesterday, I don't ever see what I've become. Can somebody shout, I'm going to do website navigation, but somebody needs to hear this. I have devalued myself and I've got students here that I need to teach how to value themselves by me valuing myself. I haven't valued me because I'm a former fat boy, but not anymore, shoot. I looked in the mirror and I am ripped to shreds. <laughs> Everything that I work for, God has delivered into my hand and I haven't even begun to enjoy it because I'm still fat boy in my head. You know what I'm saying? So it starts with me saying I am successful. I am worthy. I am valuable. You see, you've got to start with that today too. I want you to feel valuable today. Everybody say it with me. I am valuable. I am awesome in Jesus. It, look, it goes without saying here. If we say I am worthy, we don't even have to say in Jesus because we all know right now that we all believe it in Jesus. I am never going to be one of those quacky prosperity preachers but let me tell you this when we seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness we try to exhibit the fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience gentleness goodness meekness temperance and faith and we do that without worry without regret it, we're about to have some breakthroughs around here somebody's going to get promoted today and it can start with you watching my darn video here as i go over the challenge you've got Right here, click that, start the challenge. Click this, get in the support group. Here's your rules to the challenge for 21 days. Here's the rules. Here's your food. You have to select 21 of them. When you select 21 of them, it'll look like this, and it'll be in your digital worksheets. You can find your digital worksheets here. Down here, we talk about an optional exercise for 21 days. Optional exercise. We talk about how to earn your exercise badges. Then we talk about supplementation. Not apologizing anymore for me telling people what to do in an optimal way. And you need to fill in your nutrient deficiencies. If you don't fill in your nutrient deficiencies, then you are not going to take advantage of all this work that you're doing like you could. Now, the minimum is you need to take a vitamin every day. Somebody told me this weekend, and I've heard it a million times, I can't afford a vitamin, I'm broke. And I said this, and I get in trouble every time I say it. I say, well, praise God, being broke is a good thing if you're trying to lose weight because you can't afford nothing but pinto bean. See, my point was, it, it cracks me up. that My old fat boy mentality, I said all the time, I'm broke and I can't afford to eat healthy. 
I have to eat out of the vending machine. I have to, I have to get this cheap food to eat. With Shaboeth, we'll teach you how to combine the cheap foods. You've got no experience. And if you're going to spend your money on a $1,200 iPhone while you're talking about being broke and you can't get yourself a vitamin, you don't have to use mine. You'd be better off if you did. But you, 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 come on. We've got to start investing in ourself. Invest in yourself. This is the temple of the Most High God. Do you understand who we the temple of? I mean, good gracious. The temple of the Most High. Think about that. Do you believe it or not? I'm afraid that too many people, they say they believe in God, and what they really mean is, I believe I ought to believe in God, but I don't. It stops. Let We're going to have the faith here. Let's start today. We're at with the faith of a grain of mustard seed. Do the 21-day challenge the right way. Now, by the way, if you do the AdvoCare products, I promised I would go over this. I see your emails. Thank y'all. Everybody that ordered from AdvoCare at www.blowtorchfat.com, I said, forward me your receipt, and I'm going to send you back a, a basically what amounts to an ebook. I went through yesterday and the day before, we, we moved, right? We've moved our, our weight loss center and had to move our home. And Yuns, I found journal after journal after journal after journal. Endless journals. And I'm like, I forgot about a lot of this stuff I've done over the years. 20, 20 years doing this stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to start releasing uh, recipe books uh, in volumes. Now, I know we've got the recipe library, but y'all, I found special. I had weeks laid out where I did weeks, and on the paper it would say, this week I lost three pounds. This week I lost five pounds, et cetera. And so I'm pulling it all out. And I promised my AdvoCare customers, because there was I've always done AdvoCare. When I started losing my weight, I had AdvoCare in my system from day one. That's how I am. I get hold of something, I don't have the ability to quit. So I started it then, and I had all these journals when I was really rocking the AdvoCare, and I found all these meal ideas that I did. And I thought, you know, I'm going to give that to my AdvoCare customers. Now, everybody that's not an AdvoCare customer, you're going to get a cookbook with some of my – our recipes with some of my favorite recipes and how to use them with AdvoCare, you're going to get that if you complete the challenge. But you've got to complete the challenge and earn your 21 badge, and then I'm going to give you that recipe guide. But my AdvoCare customers, I asked you to forward me your AdvoCare receipt to TravisJack777 at gmail.com. You have, and I see them. I haven't got to them. Sasha and I, uh, we, we're going, we're, we, and I got plenty of energy, but we, we're going like 22 hours a day right now. We've got so many things going on. Boy, Jesus has given me the energy today. I just want to praise God for a minute. I might bl blank out here in a second, but right now I'm feeling Jesus. I'm feeling energy. Speaking of that, cheers. I'm going to forward that to you. I'm just a little behind, and I want to make sure that it's it's written down perfectly. So y'all don't think if you forwarded me your, your AdvoCare receipt that I have forgotten you, okay? I've got 20 amazing, delicious recipes that if you use them with the AdvoCare, even if you use them without AdvoCare, I'm never going to start being cheesy. If you use them without AdvoCare, you'll be successful. But if you use them with AdvoCare, really going to give you an advantage. All right. So with that said, before I move to website navigation today, is there any questions about the 21-day challenge? Anybody? If you want to start, you know how to start, and you know how to come up with your meal ideas. 
Let me answer a few questions here. Instead of adding peanut butter to a Mighty Muffin, can I have hemp powder to Mighty Muffins for additional protein? You can. Um, I think it would really dry it out, but it would be better for you to add hemp powder for sure. Bethany, good morning. I tried to sign up for the 21 day challenge last night after watching orientation, but it would not let me. I think Tammy has fixed that and has opened it up so that we can receive more people today. Anonymous, is high protein and fiber oatmeal on the approved bread list for the 21 day challenge? I am new and I don't know how to use the dashboard yet. I don't know without looking. Uh, are you talking about the advanced, the health wise oatmeal? Uh, Anonymous, could you give me more information? Are you talking about the advanced health systems oatmeal or the health wise oatmeal or something at a grocery store? Let, let cue me in there. Patricia, can I start it next week or does it have to start date? We're gonna, for a while, we're gonna do it, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I say this, like for example, Groove Challenge ended because people lost interest, even though they were getting great results. It ended because I said I'm going to do it every week. When I say that, what I mean is I'm going to do it till y'all lose interest and I will abruptly stop it and move to the next thing. But right now, for the foreseeable future, the next week or two, we're going to do the 21 day challenge and we're going to go over it on Saturday. So there will be another one starting next Monday, but I know the nature of people. I think I'm an expert on it. I've dealt with so many freely for so many years, text, email, these classes and uh, people. It's like the more you give, and I'm not talking about you, but the more you give, the more they take for granted. And now I got people mad at me because I'm not doing Groove this week. Well, I've been waiting to do Groove. It's like when we close a weight loss center. Can I get another amen? When we close a weight loss center, well, I was going to come back. So don't wait. Jump in on the 21-day challenge while the spirit's in it, okay? Right now, the spirit is obviously in the 21-day challenge. And it's not a bad thing, but when the spirit leaves, I'm just like any other preacher. I'm like any other minister. I'm going to go where the spirit is. You with me? I was one of those, when I pastored back in the day before I disqualified myself, I was one of those pastors. If revival was going good, I was like, ain't no, we're not stopping it now. <laughs> we'll stop it when the spirit ain't here anymore. So we'll do 21 as long as the spirit's in it. Travis, are you going to go over my vision for my life? I'm unsure how to fill it out. I will. I sure will. It's also in the video, Bridget. It's in that long video. I, one of these days, soon, God's going to provide me the resources to have a video editor so that they can take small clips. But I don't got it yet. Can I have venison, hamburger, and steak on the challenge? Steak is on the challenge. If, if it's listed on the challenge, then you've got to put it in the slot. Now, listen, there's no way for the sake of everybody else here, and I'm sorry, I want to, it would take me two hours to go over that challenge again, okay? I want to. I really want to, but I can't. So if you go through the, the, the notes, and again, you can ask in the group too, because some of y'all are going to not do the challenge because you say you can't figure it out or don't have time. If you're in the Facebook group, ask questions. But now you got to look at your list. And I don't have an artificial intelligent brain yet. So I can't remember. I don't, I don't think, well, I can't answer your question. Steak is on the challenge. I remember. Steak is there. But are you going to do that right? Are you going to put it in your slot? You only get 21 foods for the week. So if you don't put steak in your slot, you're not going to get it. You got it's a it's a discipline challenge too. 
You said venison hamburger. Now, I don't know because is it 96% lean? You can count venison as 96% lean if it didn't go through a processor and the processor add fat. If your venison has added fat at the processor, you can't have it for the challenge. Sharon, I cannot find out where, where to enter the grocery list and meal ideas for the challenge. Have you watched the video, Sharon? Let me know that. If you watch the video, that's in there, but I'll try to go over it again today. My oatmeal is organic, old-fashioned rolled oats. You can add protein or collagen to it. Or, okay, that's not on the challenge. I'm sorry. So if you're doing regular Shiboleth Anonymous, just so that you know, we're not a challenge program. We're a whole food eating program, and what you had there sounds terrific. What you'll learn as you go through Fast Track is that you can have oatmeal as what category, everybody? It's a category three. So you've got to have a category one and two with it or a seven and two with it. So what would that look like for you? You would have your oatmeal, a quarter cup of your oatmeal in a weight loss mode. It's a quarter cup. That's 12 bites, 12 teaspoons with something like egg whites and a piece of a category two toast. If you're, you're new and you haven't went through all the material, so that's why you have the questions and they're good questions, but you may, to stymie any frustration, you may need to reach out to Joni today on the homepage of the website and get some meal planning help. Mama. My mama's here. If I didn't put wow challenge as one of my 21 foods, does that mean no wow challenge? It does, mama. You'll have to tap out. So now a lot of people haven't even plugged their info in yet. Before the week gets started, if you want to remove empty one of your slots and put a specific wow challenge, you can do that. Is fast track members included in the 21 day challenge? Yeah. Yeah, if unless you had one of those free accounts from long ago, uh, if you're if you've got fast track, you should have access to 21. Edith, venison hamburger and venison steak. We process it ourselves with no added fat, so you can have it. Just make sure that you put it in one of your slots. Okay. Now, let's, let's do some website navigation. I'm not going to start from the beginning like I had planned. Since it looks like there's a lot of people here doing the challenge, I'm going to start with things on the website that will help you all, okay? So there are endless tools and resources on this website. In fact, there is not a there there are resource websites without a program bigger than ours but we've been told several times that there's more content on our website than any other health and wellness website on the planet that has a program for weight loss basically when you see the website y'all i'm so excited about something i'm sorry to digress can i can I tell you, God's been waiting on, is Julie Marandino still here? God has been waiting, not waiting. You know, we put, we personify God and probably, uh, we, we, I'm just putting it in the best human language I know, right? I know God ain't waiting, but here's the thing. I've been waiting and God's made me wait because I didn't know the things that would come. The website, I've never understood why I've poured. People tell me, they've told me for years, you shouldn't put all that on the website. You should charge more for it or do this, do that. Every, every aspect of my weight loss and weight management journey, everything that's come into my head that worked is now out of my head and in that website, and that will continue to do that. And right now you have to search and search and search to find stuff and I'm like, I wish I'd done a better job organizing it or whatever. Guess what we are about to be able to do very soon? 
when God provides the resource, I'm doing it first thing. Guess what? Inside the website, there'll be a video, and it'll look like me. It'll look like me. Now, I'm going to be here doing it live so you know it's me. But it'll be a rendition of me, and it, you, it'll say, ask your question. Travis, what, but, 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 but. And that artificial intelligent thing, I've already seen it at work, it can search all of the inside of the website for every answer, hundreds of thousands of answers I've given in 20 years. It will search them and spit it out to you in less than three seconds. And it'll be my answer on the inside of the website. So y'all, this year is going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. You're having to hunt and peck and pick for things very soon. Boom. It'll be magical. I'll be, it'll be like I can be everybody's one-on-one -on -one coach right here. I'm hoping that's what it looks like. But anyway, let me go. I just get excited about stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get excited. I'm just like a kid. Let me get my, look at me. I'm all over the place. Let me get that back up. Well, it, it, who, who asked that? It, it is kind of like that, Sonia. Chat GPT is, uh, is, is artificial intelligence. The problem is if you ask the wrong question, you're going to get the wrong app. So if I go to Chat GPT and I say, give me a meal plan to help me lose weight, it ain't going to have anything about food combinations. But inside my website, that same type of artificial intelligence, it will do it based upon how I would answer a question. So you're locked out of the website. You can't get in my website unless you're a member. So I can add artificial intelligence on the inside of the website as soon as I get the resources, and then boom. And I'm saying all that because so many people have said to me that they struggle finding anything on the website. Now, I think the website's pretty cool, but a lot of people, it's one of the reasons they quit. And I don't understand that. Uh, my little heart gets hurt over it. We've done our best to organize it. But imagine a prompt up here where anything that you need, like, track, can I have this on the challenge? And then, boom, you get an answer. It's going to be awesome. Won't be a real person. That's why I said at the onset of this class, more programs, they're, they're promoting in the health and wellness scene, they're promoting get rid of real people because you ain't going to need them. I disagree. I think we need the spirit of God. I can't talk to an artificial intelligent mechanism and feel the spirit of God. I can't feel that this person cares for me. And I think that's what's different about Shibola. But anyway, I got to stop going back and forth. My fault. Let's go to resources. So first of all, as part of the navigation here, see this menu? There's all kind of menus. Look at all this stuff. The website's jam-packed. So y'all were asking about these digital worksheets. Digital worksheets. This menu here is on every page of the website. So I click resources. And I go to digital worksheets. Those that want to be with me, are you with me right now? I click digital worksheets. Now, all this was explained in the two orientations I did. But I want to go over it again because a lot of times, you ladies, y'all ain't listening to me because you got better things to do. You got me playing in the back. That's why people say, you're too patient. Have to be. You don't understand what my clients are going through. Y'all are moms and, and wives, and man, y'all are doing so much. I know that you're trying to get as much of what I say as you can, but you're folding the clothes, doing the dishes. So I never get mad about it. You don't get mad about it if it takes you a while to get my attention, okay? Because I, I know I need to go over things sometimes, many times, and that frustrates people who got it the first time. But y'all, we need to be compassionate with each other, okay? So understand, a lot of people's having the multi and triple task. So here we go. We've got our digital worksheets. Now, there's nothing that special about digital worksheets. The reason I come up with this feature a long, long time ago, 
was because I was always losing my papers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where is this? Where is this? I'm a big journaler, a logger. I do it on the, the website. I got, I got three notepads right here with notes. So I thought some of the important stuff, I want a digital worksheet. So I've got a one place that I can go and find them at any time that I want to find them. And there's different types of worksheets. The one that we're dealing with is the 21 day self-mastery challenge. Now, here's the times I've done the worksheets in the past. I'm going to pull up the most recent. You create a new one here. Boom, 21-day self-mastery. And when we work on stuff, that's another thing. I think artificial intelligence is actually going to hurt the weight loss and wellness industry. They're saying it's going to help it. I think it's going to hurt it because it's going to make things easier on people. All those apps that you have that don't require you to write down how you feel about a meal and whatnot, you just scan it. What good have they done? What good are they? What you'll never refer back to it. What when you have to write or type something in and you have to think about what you're feeling, that's how you learn. You may not like that because you don't want to exercise that, but. You know, it's like when they give us the remote control to a TV. We love that. But did you know since the time the remote control come out that the average weight of an American has increased by 23 pounds? Think about that. Why? We just sit there. Bloop, 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 bloop. The av average American over that time frame, they did some kind of weird algorithmic study and, and weight increased. Per uh, on average per American, like something like 23 pounds because of a remote control because we won't get up off our rear end and go to the TV. We're going to lose something, y'all. This is going to end up being like a scene from that movie. Wally, all real life is portrayed in the movies, y'all. All real life. If you seen it, if you watch The Matrix and you thought that was a joke, it's coming. If you watched the Terminator movie and thought that was a joke, it's coming. Go watch Boston Dynamics. Yeah, it's, I'm telling y'all, you, you, if, you, if you're away from the Lord right now, you better be drawing nigh to the Lord, sister. This ain't just a program or a software. This thing is sentient. It thinks for itself. And they about to put that in robots? Go to Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics on Instagram. Y'all, it's going to get freaky, freaky, freaky. But I got good news for you. Jesus is on the throne. <laughs> we got it made. All right. The people of Jesus, we're going to be able to use this artificial intelligence for our benefit. We're going to control it. It ain't going to control us. But anyway, there I did it again. I got off on a tangent. That's what happens when you drink happy juice before class. So this is the worksheet, and I come up. These, these are slots. There's 21 slots here. I had to put the foods for the challenge that I'm going to stick to for at least a week right here. If it's not here in these slots, you can't have it. That's pretty simple, isn't it? You've got thousands of foods on regular Shibola, but we're getting you focused and it's also a discipline challenge. My mom said, my mama said a few minutes ago, if I didn't put a wow challenge down in a slot, I can't have it right. And that's right. If you put a wow challenge, you have to put the specific name of that challenge. And then everything that's in that wow challenge, you're good to go. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? If you're doing the channel, and this is the worksheet. And then over here, it's just me putting in some meal ideas, things that I'm going to do. For example, out of my slots, I said I'm going to do some cocoa ring and hot chocolate for breakfast, berries with hemp flakes for lunch. Uh, no, excuse me, that's for breakfast too. Or berries with hemp flakes, eggs with very sweet hemp flakes, lunch, a Wendy's chili, a grilled chicken salad, or soft chicken tacos in my shell, and then for dinner. So you, you got to make sure it comes from your slot. Everybody good with that worksheet? And then you make sure you save it. All right, next worksheet. 
Travis, what about my vision for my life? This is a cool little worksheet. I click create and I can create a worksheet just like this. Now, my philosophy here was I was trying to exercise some Bible commands. Call things forth and forward that are not as though they already are. Don't say I want to be 200 pounds by such and such day. I am 200 pounds. Don't say I'm, I want to become disciplined. I am disciplined. You got to be like Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life, and the resurrection. That's why God in the Old Testament said, I am unlimited. <laughs> right? So whatever you say you are, you're going to live up to that. Me saying I, I'm a former fat boy, right? As long as I'm saying that, I'm going to live more up to that than I will this lean hunk of man I am. I'm lean and mean and got abs like Brad Pitt. All right? So we speak powerfully and positively today about ourselves. Think of this. If, you wanna, if you're going to end up losing 100 pounds, let's say you're 300 and you want to be 200. I am 200 pounds. Even at 300, go on and say it. Because that's how Jesus sees you. You see your 300-pound self, not Jesus. He sees all of your beauty and full potential. So I am. Then you have to start eating then like you're already 200 pounds. And think about what I'm saying deeply. When you're 300 pounds, you're like, I'm starving to death. That ain't you starving to death. That's big you starving to death. But the lean you is happy. We're getting rid of that excess baggage. Eat for the size you want to be from day one, not the size you are. And it will start manifesting. Somebody should shout again. Y'all is not shouters, are you? Visualize right now your best body. Check this out. Now, this is one of mine, and I've got good pictures. So I put down my ideal weights, 187 pounds. I wear my ideal waist size of 32. My body fat percentage is 10%. I will follow Shibola 7. And I look at this when I get up. I look at this before I eat. I got it on my phone. I got it on the fridge. I got it in the bathroom. I'm saturating my mind because to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and life more abundantly. So I want to see things as they are in the spirit, not as they are in the flesh. The letter kills, the spirit makes alive. Go ahead and humble yourself. You remember when you were, woo, this is good. You remember when you was a little child and you played pretend? Did any of y'all ever play pretend? Did you play pretend? I bet you did. I played pretend. Sometimes I was Luke Skywalker. Sometimes I was uh, uh, Hopalong Cassidy. Sometimes, boy, I'm showing my age, ain't I? Some, sometimes I was Rocky Balboa. I pretended I was a little child, and that was heavenly to me. That was heavenly. Some of yons is waiting to you. You waiting to experience heaven for the first time when you get yonder. I'm telling you, you can experience here right now with what I'm telling you today. Just a little turn of the knob, baby. So I feel this out as thing as I want it to be. Now, you can put painful pictures here, but I would say don't. I'll show you another place to put those in a minute. This is the most powerful part of the program. Simple but powerful. This, why can't I do what I say that I'm going to do, Travis? Because you don't do this every day. So here I've got Helio Gracie. Helio Gracie was still practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in his 90s, and he's one of my heroes. Bye, Bridget. He's one of my heroes. So I want to live to my 90s, and I want to be still practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Over here, I put a picture of my beautiful wife to remind me that I've got somebody that takes care of herself. Y'all going to laugh and think this is silly, but she takes care of herself, takes care of her body, her appearance, 
her mind, she's very conscientious. I'm one of them apt to let myself go. So I put this here to go, if I want to keep up with her, I better take care of myself. Cause that if I'm not doing my best, that gal won't have it. She'll be, she, I'm not saying she'll leave me, but I'm saying she won't be happy. So I want to keep the pace. In fact, I want to set the pace as the husband. I want to set the pace. No, I'm not a male chauvinist. I want to be a good teammate. And as her husband, I want to set the pace. So she's trying to keep up, right? And we have that. So when I see this picture, that's what it represents to me. I'm mindful that I want to do this as much for her as I do for me. What does it, don't, don't get mad at me when I step on some toes here. What does it say? about the relationship if the two don't want to take care of themselves for each other? A moment of silence while we think about that. What does it say for that relationship when one person in the relationship says, well, they ain't going to do it, why should I? Does that sound like spirit-filled talk or does that sound like carnal-minded talk? Think about it. Then in here, yeah, I ain't ashamed. Uh, and I was, I'm was i leaner now. Y'all see them abs? You probably can't see that picture too good. I got some skin I got to hide under my little tights there. But, hey, that's pretty good coming from a 300-pound feller, don't you think? 50-something years old and got some abs to show them. So this is my, this is my vision. And you want to – do these as often as you will, okay? Let's go to the next worksheet. Then you have the monthly street calendar. The monthly street calendar. Now here is a form that I come up with. I've used this forever, and I think this is probably one of the most powerful ones that I've ever, powerful little things I've ever done. You know, it takes 21 days to make a habit, so they say. It probably takes more than that, but that's what they say. The science says 21 days in a row will make something a habit. I've been struggling with worry, negative speech, a little bit of uh, depression. So I thought, I got to get back focused. I'm not going to let the devil win. So I've got listed here all the things that I'm focusing on for the next 31 days, 21 days for the challenge. Am I operating in love, joy? Let's say today that I get caught up out of habit, speaking. Let's say that I, I love myself, care for myself, uh, but I, you know I, I expressed a lot of negativity. Then I'm on. I'm not going to mark the ones that that I I didn't uh, submit to, right? And I'm going to be mindful of this. That's what we got to do is be mindful of this. And it says, don't speak negativity. So if I speak negative, don't speak negativity, I'm going to give myself a check mark. You can come up with whichever ones will help you get rid of some old bad habits and install some new good ones. And see how I checked it turns blue? The more blue I fill up in that, you watch. You, you start really enjoying life more, accomplishing your goals. Look, we just get off track a little bit, y'all. It's okay. You're human. You just get off track a little bit. Don't beat yourself up over it. This whole world was designed to get you off track a little bit. If you didn't know of your weakness, you wouldn't know to call on the righteous, most high God who's strong. If you could be strong all the time, I know people that think God's mad at them because they're weak. It's right the opposite. That's what man has taught you. That's what man has taught you. God loves you because of your weakness, not in spite of it. God made you. And the only way you can fellowship with God and get to know God is if you're aware of your weakness and that you're weak and undone without God. So don't beat yourself up over it. But now get your 21-day your habit tracker if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're trying to quit some other addiction, uh, whatever it is you're trying, you're trying to get your workouts in. Have that little chart, okay? Next, 
so that we're in theme, let me show you one more even better vision tracker. This is the bigger one. It takes a little more time. Are y'all getting anything out of this? I want you to learn to navigate this website because it will help you because it does behavior modification. Everything you need to lose weight and keep it off is in this website. Faith, behavior modification, nutrition, and exercise. So here I'm going to vision and goals. Now this one's fantastic. I have a link in my real account. This is my test account. I have a link. I filled them out. I've got half naked pictures in there so that you can't see them. They're private. My naked pictures. <laughs> this, this, is a, this one's a game changer if you'll use it. I've got people, we've done, we, we done one time a four-week class on this, and everybody had to come out of the four classes and have theirs complete. But then rarely did they, it was, it was meant to set up and use. So for me, I have it on my phone. Uh, I've got it on my phone. I've got, a, you know how to put a short link on your phone? Those little, those little buttons. I've got a short link that goes right to it. And I can play it anytime I'm down, before I eat, I'm tempted with food. And, and he, you can add a new goal. You can do this based upon goals. You can give your universal vision, all kind of things you can do here. Like you could add a new goal. I'm going to get 10,000 steps today. Here's why. And by the way, you get points. Every time you complete a goal successfully, you get points in a badge. Here's one that I already had set up. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Vision board. This vision was I am 10% body fat. The goal category was it was about body fat percentage. You could do children, education, family, finance, doesn't matter. It's a high priority to me. Now, this is old, so it says 11 3 21 was the goal date. When you complete it, you mark that so that you get your badge. Jennifer, it's right here. See us? See right here? Right here. You, you can find almost everything right up here or right here, okay? And it's vision tracker right here, vision and goals. Do you see that, Jennifer? I'll make sure you see it. Vision and goals, okay? So I can put a description, and then this is important. Here's the hard part. I put painful images. I put painful images. See these painful ones? Tammy, could you help Jennifer June? This is a uh, different progress photos in my journey, but a long time ago, I'm looking at my back here. When I see those love handles protruding out like that, it's upsetting to me. I can be back here. Can, I think y'all can see that. Tammy, can they see these images? Can y'all see them? Sometimes I'm looking at two different screens and things get weird to me. I think y'all can see it. Yes, we can see them. Okay. So when my, my big old love handles right there. For me, it hurts my feelings because not only did I, if that weight, uh, even I was about 250, 260 there. I was made fun of for that very thing growing up. When we had to play shirts and skins basketball, I always got made fun of because of that back fat. Hey, kids are mean, right? So I've, I've got that there. I don't ever want to go back there. That's not me anymore. This photo. This was after. The reason I've got this one here is this was after I'd lost weight. I, I typically stayed around 220 pounds, and I taught nutrition. But then I hurt my back. I had back surgery, and I stopped doing what I was supposed to be doing. And during back, uh, right after back surgery, I was depressed and eating a lot. I'd went bankrupt, and I was gaining the weight back. If I remember, this is like 240-ish. And I put that there to remind me 
that I can gain it back that quick. Okay, both of these photos similar. Then I've got the positive vision that I'm pursuing. So the painful images will get you up and get you started. There is a benefit to pain. You got to be careful not to be self-loathing and abuse yourself. But it's okay to have a little bit of disgust with the current situation so you'll get up and move. Unfortunately, we are a species that has to be in enough pain to want to change. I hate that, but that's the way it is. But your painful pictures are not enough to keep you going. That's why so many people relapse. As soon as they get out of, out of, a, out of some pain, they get complacent. They don't have a vision. What did the Bible say? People without a vision, they shall perish. So your results perish. So down here, I've got a positive vision. This is a picture of my, myself and my wife. I'm looking lean and buff and, you know, got on a tight shirt, which I never used to do. And that, yes, I remember how it felt that night. Felt good. Here's some pictures of me. And again, I'm, actually better now than I was here. <laughs> but I put those pictures to remind myself how far I come. The hard work's paid off, right? So then I can literally do this. I can click play. Check this out, y'all. Watch. Let me, let me share this with you the right way. Facebook will kick me off when I do this because it's got music. Watch this, y'all. All right. So you you we can play some music, we can play it like a slideshow, we can show it on our phone right before we eat. Come on, y'all. Isn't that awesome? And the more you use it, the better results you'll get. It's like playing darts or horseshoes. Without the peg and without the dart boards, you're never going to get anywhere. You got to have that goal. You got to have a vision. All right? Margo says, God amazing. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. All right, next. Now we're going to do some more navigation. Thank you, Joni. More navigation. All right, we're probably we've already went an hour, so tomorrow I'm gonna do more navigation if that's okay, because there's hidden gems on this website that y'all aren't using. Is that acceptable to y'all to do this for a couple of days till I can show y'all the new structure and everything? All right. So the first thing I want to do now is go back to the beginning. When you're starting this program, you click dashboard. Click the dashboard. See these tabs down here? These tabs represent the flow of your weight loss and wellness journey. So I click fast track. I've got seven laps. I've got a seven lap system here. And then it's got everything that you need to do in Fast Track to install, like visualize the Matrix movie and install. You're installing Shibboleth into your hard drive. And you do that by going through the seven laps and, and using your resources here. You have Kim's Fast Track videos. I want you to go through those, take the test, pass test, earn the badge. Here's all your downloadable materials that might be of use to you during Fast Track. Just this one little program is worth thousands of dollars, y'all. Go to Mind Body Green if you don't believe me. Mind Body Green has about one tenth of the content and courses we do, and it's $4,999. Y'all have got your hands on a gold mine of wellness and weight loss information here. And dummy me priced it so cheap. My mama told me a week ago, she said, Travis, most people I talk to, they think you, they're not going to sign up because they think it's a gimmick. Nobody would give all that you're promising away for nothing. She's probably right. Holy Spirit told me much of the same. 
Mind Body Green cannot compete with our program. To buy all of their program for $4,999. All right, back to it. So you go through Fast Track and you earn your Fast Track badge. Next, we go into Journey, okay? So Journey is set up the same way, but here's something that you need to be aware of. We've had a lot of problems emailing because people are uh, reporting us. I don't know why we only email our clients or people who have asked us to. I guess people are just in the habit of being in a bad mood and hitting spam. So here you've got Journey videos. And you see lesson one and lesson two. I've been working my tail off. I did not want to put content here without emailing the content to the journey member. And I'm afraid we're never going to pull that off. So I'm done trying to pull that off. I might try a few more times because if I don't send it to you, then you don't come watch it. So to do all the videos and nobody watch them, was a waste of my time, but I'm going to quit thinking like that and talking like that. I'm going to go on and start putting them here each day, a new lesson for my journey members each day so that you can begin your Shibola journey, but you'll have to remember to come here. Y'all, Facebook is getting close to getting rid of us. Now, maybe God will change that. That's possible. But if God don't change it, y'all going to have to remember to come to me. The days of me chasing everybody and begging them to, to take my help I, is going to stop. So you got to come here. And if you've done fast track, now we start the journey curriculum. Okay. Then after journey, you can go into Tiger's Eye curriculum. Let's wait on talking too much more about Tiger's Eye. Let's just get started with the journey. After you have completed 10 journey lessons, you earn your Shibboleth journey badge, just like you did your fast track badge. Then every lesson that you complete after that, your journey badge will have a number in it and that number will accumulate. And there'll be times and seasons, now that we're charging appropriately, there'll be times and seasons where you can cash those points in for stuff books, other stuff that we're coming out with. So you want to earn that journey badge and stay with it, okay? So your dashboard's got everything that you're gonna need beginning May forward uh, if you're paying attention to it. So if you've earned Fast Track Badge, my system sees you as a journey member. Next, our partners. This is going to become the most robust program for our beloved partners. Are our partners enjoying the partner program so far? Well, you hadn't seen nothing yet. I've got scanning technology coming for partners. Um, I've got... I, I'll just put it this way. I've got features that's going to go here that's going to blow your mind. And I'm not backing down, y'all. I am not going to devalue my partners by giving this stuff away, okay? I want to say thank you, partners, for believing in, in me and supporting me, supporting Sasha throughout this incredible journey. And I'm going to make the partner program the best program other than the Thrive program that I've ever done, okay? So keep paying attention here as Sergey starts releasing features. He told me, let's try to release one feature a month. Let's don't do too many at one time because he won't be able to work through all the bugs fast enough. When you launch something, there's always a bug. So we're going to launch one new feature at a time each month in this partner system, okay? So those of you that are not partners, I can't brag, the partners are telling you it's a good program. I give you one exclusive class per week, three times a month. You get the, the partner progressive system, progression system. You're about to get scanning technology 
and so many other features that I know that you're gonna love, okay? So these are your dashboards. Lastly, you have a, a little dashboard here that's kind of cute, where if you're doing tiger's eye, uh, it, it shows it, in a glance, it shows you how many steps for the day, how many reps, et cetera. So some cool stuff there. All right. So just as a, a, a view of what we're going to do tomorrow and make sure y'all are okay with this so we can collaborate. Because uh, if y'all don't come back to class, I'm going to be upset. You should tell me if it's not helpful. So here's what I'm going to do tomorrow. When we come back tomorrow, we're going to go over everything in resources. Approved food library, how to use it to its fullest potential, the recipe library, the searcher grocery store, uh, the video library, the digital books. We're going to go all, over all of this tomorrow. And that's just getting it started, y'all. Look, you, you've got the community that we don't talk about. Uh, you've got all the different badges. You've got some cool little uh, Easter eggs down here, a food calculator, a weight loss calculator. There's so much stuff here that will help you lose weight that it's mind blowing. All right. Any questions or comments today? I'm just setting it up. I'm sorry if I rambled too much. I'm just setting it up because May the 1st was our day where Sasha's changing a lot of stuff with our corporate structure. I'm changing stuff. We're opening a center. Sasha's at the St. Augustine Weight Loss Center where we have a vision of having weekend retreats this year. So she's there now putting stuff on shelves, doing – she's working hard. We, we're going to – we want you to be proud of your Shibola. We're going to change the game. God is going to bless us and bless us with abundant resources so that we can provide the greatest weight loss and wellness program that's ever been in existence. Yes, Cheryl, we tape every single session, every single session. Okay, one, one more thing. We are about to launch our referrer program. I refer program. Anybody that's interested in referring, when you refer and somebody signs up for the program, you get some money. And I hope that it helps you around the house, helps you with you carry your husband out, him carry you out. Uh, we, we're going to have a great, robust refer program. I'll be going over it this week. So if you're interested, in how to refer Shibola and use your link to refer. Uh, not only can you make some money, you can make really good money by just simply posting the stuff that I post and people clicking it and get, it's going to be easier than ever. So this week you're going to see this new thing that says, get my new free. It's not just a grocery list, get my new and my free grocery guide. So you'll be able to put an image that's, that's, attached to your link on Facebook and you can tell people about this great grocery guide, they can go sign up and get it for free. So how do you make money? Well, after they get it for free, then I begin to nurture them with daily educational videos, just like I, I'm so excited about this, that the Holy Spirit give it to me this way. Does anybody know how I started uh, Shibola, the Thriving Shibola program? You know how it first people got word of it? Does anybody remember? Grocery store tours. So this week, we're going to put our little grocery book that people can download for free, no strings attached. And then every day, I just hadn't been thinking, y'all. When COVID kicked us out of the grocery stores, I didn't put my thinking cap on. Once you've done a thing a certain way for years, you don't always think out of the box. And the Holy Spirit said, you quit doing what you used to do. That's what's the matter. I said, no, I didn't. I still do everything. No, the grocery tour. I can't do a grocery tour, Holy Spirit. Ah, but you can use and leverage technology. So imagine the person that you refer to me getting the free grocery guide, and then every day they get two videos. One is, and they're all short, no two hour ones. And it motivates them for the day. And the other one is on some grocery store foods 
and the benefit of those grocery store foods. Isn't that going to be awesome? But we need your help because we've got to beat the, chat, uh, the Facebook shadow banning. And I know that you're going to help me because I've asked God to put it on your heart to help me. I'm tired of seeing this program. It's like this program's like putting baby in a corner. I see all of you as the godparents of Shibola. And I need you to help me get baby out of the corner like a happy parent. All right. And I'm going to make sure that the stuff you share makes you feel good because it'll be something you're giving them of high value, buddy. All right, I'm on hush. Any questions or comments before we go today? Are you excited about Shibola? I'm excited about you. Awesome. And, and y'all, I'm going to tell you how I am. The Lord says it's okay to tell you. If you want to pay me, i tell you the, the greatest form of payment to me, and it ain't dollars. I need dollars to keep the program going, but I say this because I get lonesome doing this. I get lonesome. Sometimes I wonder, did I misspend my life? When I have a carnal moment and a flesh moment, I think about, I could have done this. If I'd stuck with this or that, I'd be providing for my family better and they'd appreciate me better and whatnot. But God won't let me quit this. And sometimes I get lonesome and I get to feeling, I can't tell you how many negative messages I get. And I'm my personality is, I focus on the negative ones and uh, Lord's going to help me with that. And I don't focus on the plethora of positive ones. And I get to feel it. So when something in the program, whether it's a meal plan Joni did or whether it's a meal plan I did or something that was said in class, when it helps you, I had rather hear Travis, thank, even if I can't reply back because it gets to be so many and, and I can't type and I want to keep working on stuff that just to hear, just to hear that, Travis, the program's helping me. It means the world to me. Anybody that really knows me knows that. That, that If you said you can only have one or the other, you can only have somebody's appreciation and their love, or you can have the dollar. I to choose the appreciation and love. I just want to know that my life is meaningful. The way most people gauge life, uh, you know, even our children, or they gauge it on how much how much material success you've had. I haven't had very much. So my payday sometimes, y'all, is just you saying, Travis, that really helped me. That means the world to me, okay? So if something on my website helps you, please let it be known. Let others know, too. That'll help both sides of the issue. Shibola saved my life and marriage. Bless you, darling. Bless you. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I never get tired of somebody loving on me. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I never get tired of somebody loving on me, and I never get tired of loving on people. Never. Kimberly, I'm waiting on you, girl. Let me answer these last few questions. I believe in you, Kimberly Arnold. Anonymous, Travis, I would not want any of my personal information, credit card address exposed to any artificial intelligence. I'm very concerned as you're about what is, no, you don't need to be concerned. I think the old devil's already trying to get, not you, but he's coming after you. Everything on the website, you can mark privacy and nothing can see anything you're doing. Before we launch anything like that, you'll have the ability to turn off anything you want to turn off. We would never do that. We are, we are not sophisticated, but we're more sophisticated than that. We understand privacy issues. So anytime we launch something, it starts off as private until you purposely go in there and mark it public, okay? So don't worry about that. We would never do you that way. How do I tell my body fat? I'm five foot three and I weigh 145 pounds. Well, 
The best place to go that won't cost you any money is right here. You go to your journal and you go to assessments. And by the way, y'all, artificial intelligence has already got everything about you anyway. Sorry to tell you. But no, we would never, never give anything access to your information. But everything that you do on social media, artificial intelligence has captured that. It's gone. All right. So you better be careful what you put on social media. Anyway, I'm just throwing that nugget in. So uh, you go to your assessment. Boom. Assessment. Now, you have to do this right. So you, you can use this assessment or RIMFO scales. Do you have RIMFO scales, Sharon? Highly recommend them. Now, there's more accurate testing, but you have to pay for such testing. And it's only going to differ by two or three points. If you do this right, this assessment's good enough. So I go in here and I mark my gender. I mark my weight my height in inches, my neck. I'm just going to throw in some measurements so you see. You want, it, you want to follow the rules. See where it says, Sharon, taking proper body measurements? You want to do it just like it says to do it right there, or it won't be accurate. Then you're, you're, I'm typing this stuff in, 15 biceps, forearms, 12.5, uh, wrist is 7.5, uh, hips 34, thigh left, thigh right calf. All right. So I just put all that in there and then I click send. And it gives me my body fat percentage. Now I just threw fake numbers in there. It says body fat percentage, 19.86%. It says I have no excess fat. I have 11.72 pounds of reserve fat. I have 28 pounds of essential fat. So this gives me my assessment. I can come down here. I can see where I am. It says uh, my body fat was 19, so I am considered in the approved zone. In other words, I'm, I'm Shibboleth approved, if that was my measurements. Do you have any questions about that? I, I would like for you to consider getting some RIMFO scales. Tammy can put uh, our link to the RIMFO scales in the thread, and that, that will be great if, you will, uh, if you'll get RIMFO scales. They'll be a little more accurate than that assessment, and you just weigh on them, and it gives you your body fat percentage. Now, it's going to be off. I mean, a caliper test is the best test uh, other than the hydrostatic water weighing test, but you got to go let somebody pinch on you. That's not cool, okay? So that's how you find out your body fat percentage. Becky, why does weight loss not show up in the all-stars? Well, it should. I don't know why it wouldn't. Let's see. Sergey's working on stuff. Y'all scare me with this sometimes. So let, let's go and look. All stars. Is something broke? Let's take a look. So today, body weight loss, it's showing that. Hey, Becky, am I looking at something wrong? Yesterday's weight loss. Last seven days weight loss. For those that are measuring, uh, last month's weight loss had uh, – Looks like Miss Davis lost 20.8 pounds last month. And then you got all-time weight loss. You got Big Hurt lost 263 pounds. Angela, 231. Missy, 214. Wow. Look at them numbers. What did I miss there, sis? You scared me. Tell me something broke on my website. Mama! My mama got to think I'm crazy. She's got to think I'm crazy when I get like this. I think I feel so good because I preached the gospel yesterday. Boy, the Lord got a hold of me. He might not have got a hold of nobody else, but I left that class a shout. I feel renewed. Feel renewed. God said, about time you do what I tell you to do. Yes, sir. Becky, you disappeared on my chat. Let me know if that's what you needed. You might have been referring to something else. Bethany, oh, I answered that. Amanda, I answered that. Good deal. Anybody else before I go? I love you, Mama. I am not ashamed of my mama. I'm 52 years old, and I am not ashamed of my mama. Hey, Mama. You can make fun of me if you want to. I'm going to tell you what, a fella that don't love his mama and is ashamed of his mama, 
she still won't be ashamed of him. <laughs> Jesus said, you ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Your mama ain't ashamed of you no matter what. My mama's this way. No matter what I do, even when I stink, even when I screw something up, even when I was bankrupt, broke, drinking, my mama's Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. And she's like, it's somebody else's fault. I, I think that I could go to my mama and say, Mama, I killed the fella. She'd say, well, how, how, how deep we need to dig the hole. <laughs> but your mama's unscrupulous. No, that's a mama for you. She She's going to find the good in her kid. Uh, and, and my mama being, being evil compared to God. And my mama knows how to give good gifts. My mama knows how to hide and cover my deficiencies. How much more does my God know how to cover me? Lord, have mercy. I didn't say it was good preaching yesterday. Now, y'all, don't, don't take it wrong. I didn't say it was good preaching. I just said I did what the Lord wanted me to do, and that's all, all that's required of me. And a feller that won't enjoy his own preaching won't nobody else enjoy it either. That's about right. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, the Lord told me yesterday, Mama. The Lord told me. We just have a conversation in front of all these people. My Lord told me. I'm just getting started with you now. I'm just getting started now. You let go just a little bit. He said, you give me just a little bit. Now I shall require, require more. I said, I'm ready, Lord. I feel different. I feel the energy come back into me. I am not ashamed to say I am your ambassador, Lord. I'm having fun with y'all today. Anybody else? Well, then, Gail says, girls don't marry a man that isn't crazy about his mama. Uh, then uh, my wife's a very lucky woman because I am crazy about my mama. I keep trying to get her to move over here with me, but she won't do it. She's got daddy at home. <laughs> Yeah, I did too, Mama. Bind on earth and bind in heaven. Whatever we allow on earth will be allowed in heaven. Whatever we disallow on earth will be disallowed in heaven. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> if you believe in the Lord, that was a good report yesterday. There's some things that I'm going to bind up, so it'll be bound in heaven. There's some things I'm going to loose here on the earth, so it'll be loosed in heaven. <laughs> oh, me. Stacy, praying for you. Give Arlen a hug for me, Stacy. Give Arlen a hug for me, please. Anybody else? I love y'all. We'll talk to you. Oh, Cheryl's got one right in the nick of time. Can I drink coffee in the morning before my 16-hour fast window is up? Absolutely. Just don't add any uh, unapproved creamers or unapproved sweeteners to it. You're fine. I have to have my Four Sigmatic coffee myself. Freebie, freebie, freebie. Got somebody uh, that's asking for prayer for addiction. A prayer for, a prayer for addiction. We'll close out that way. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble as we know how, Father. Thanking you, Lord, for this day of life. Uh, Father, I just want to, I just want to thank you for how I feel this morning. I don't know how I'm feeling so good. Uh, the flesh part of me, the flesh part of me is looking around and saying, I ought not feel this good. I got this problem, that problem. The old devil just attacks, attacks, attacks. I'm looking for a reason not to feel this good. That's Well, that's crazy, Lord. That's crazy, Lord. <laughs> so I'm putting that to the side. Just thank you, Lord, that I feel so good today, God. I feel physically good. I feel emotionally good, mentally good. And I just thank you and I praise you for that. I've got a goal. I've got a goal. I've got a vision for my life. Uh, I'm no longer in the pain that I was in. I can see. I can hear. I can walk. I can talk. I'm getting to do for a living the thing that I love. I've got people in my life that love me and appreciate me, people in my life that I adore. I, uh, things I look forward to that are coming up. I'm not afraid of whatever comes next with all this artificial intelligence and all that stuff. 
because I know who the real intelligence is, God. It's you. And I ask for more of that. I ask more for wisdom. The Bible says that if we'll ask for wisdom in Jesus' name, it'll be given to us liberally. And I ask you for that wisdom, God. And, and Lord, I've earned what wisdom I have the hard way. If I'd have just come to you for it, it might have been a lot easier, Lord. I'm coming to you today and letting you know, God, uh, that besides you, there's no other in my life. Uh, as much as I love the people in my life, God, on my own and by myself, I can't love them adequately. I want to love you, God, as though there's nobody else. No mamas, no daddies, no wives, no children, no nobody, God. There's just you. Just you, Lord. And when I look at them, I hope I see you, Lord. I want to love them through you, not around you anymore, God, through you, so that they might feel the love of God in their life. God, all I know to do in my own weak way is to praise you, to give you praise for everything going on right now. Thank you so much, God. I love you so much. Lord, we've had somebody here today ask that we pray for them because they are suffering with addiction. Now, Father, we don't know, and it's none of our business. If it's food addiction, alcohol, drugs, smoking, we don't know. It could be as simple as they're enslaved to some food like a donut. We don't know, God, but we, it could be something more serious. We don't know, Lord, what that is, and we don't need to know. All we can do, God, is to say we're not judging, and we know you're not judging, you seek for us to be like every single one of them that was in the Bible that got their miracle healing, Father. You just wanted them to come to you, just to feel their need of you. And oftentimes it was, Lord, just like the woman with the issue of blood, she had went to all the physicians. Sometimes, God, we've got to go to everybody else to get satisfied that there's no other way. It ought not be that way, God. But even the ones in the Bible, many of them did that. They, had, they would go to the magicians. They would go to the doctors. They would go to the religious leaders seeking help. They would ask alms of people. They would seek help in all the wrong places. But some had enough faith that when their back was against the wall and there was no else, nowhere else to go, God, they turned to you. That woman with the issue of blood, she said, if I could only get through this crowd, they're all touching on you and everything, Lord, and they're not getting any virtue out of you. But she had faith, and she said, if I can just get to the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. We've got people here today, not just this sister, dealing with addiction, dealing with all types of things, Lord, and they're trying to do it on their own. But God is as simple as purposing in their heart and believing in their heart that they're going to get to the hem, they're going to touch you today, God. How do we touch your hem, the hem of your garment today, God? All we've got to do is find ourselves a prayer closet, a little tree, a little place to hide away from the world and to do it in earnest and feel our great need of you and to really groan and utter or not. But in faith, come to you and just touch the hem of your garment. Touch. Know that in our heart, you are touched by the feelings of our infirmities and you're not abusing us over our addiction. Why are we abusing ourselves? Let it go. Uh, Father, the more the devil stands and accuses us and judges us, the more down on ourselves we get, uh, the less likely we are to even try to break addiction because we start feeling like we'll never get it. We'll never fix it. But God, we can in you. If we can renew a right mind in ourselves today, if we can stir up our pure mind, God, Things can change in a moment and in a twinkling of an eye and addiction and strongholds can be broken. Uh, Lord, I pray, God, that you would touch her in her heart and in her mind and you let her know that whatever she's addicted to, she's allowing that thing to sit on the throne inside of her heart. And Lord, it's as simple as removing that thing sitting on the throne in her heart, removing that and inviting the Holy Spirit to sit back on the throne and to guide her daily. Not to be enslaved by any kind of food or drug or alcohol or anything else, but God, to be enslaved by you, to be a prisoner of Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul said, I count everything that I gave up, every addiction, everything that I ever gave up, I counted as do-do now because I've obtained 
the price. An inheritance, this incorruptible, undefiled faith, not away. And I want to be a prisoner, Paul said. I am a prisoner of Jesus Christ. That's a good prisoner to be. Father, I pray, God, whatever it is that she needs, God, that you would move upon her today, that you would move upon the waters. You would move upon her waters. You would move upon her earth. And, Father, we're all touching and agreeing here today uh, that those chains of bondage are going to be broken today for this sister. Let your Holy Spirit go and sup with her and her sup with you in some mysterious, miraculous way that she doesn't even see coming, God. I pray today that after this is over, she might have a mind, just a little bit of a mind, that uh, this prayer helped her in some way. But, God, that's not, that's not what I'm asking for, Father. I'm not asking that my heart, her heart touches for a minute. I'm not asking that she be, well, we did the thing. We prayed a little bit. No, God, I'm asking that sometime today, in some mysterious way, in some majestic way, it may be at 4 o'clock. It may be at 4.03. It may be at 6.10. At some time, oh, that devil, sometime today, Father, that the Holy Spirit, might move upon her and father she know that you're with her and that whatever she's addicted to she would want it less and less minute by minute hour by hour week after week month after month god i pray that you'd touch her that you'd help her move closer to you today that she would draw nigh to you so that you could draw nigh to her and for that we all touch and agree and say in jesus name amen be healed, sister. Will thou be healed? Will thou be healed? Will thou be healed? Will thou be healed? Take up your bed and walk. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ. You rise up and walk today, sister. If you want Jesus, you don't wait on Jesus. You stand up. You don't wait on Jesus. You've got the Holy Ghost in you, whatever you're addicted to and you don't want to be addicted to anymore. You pick that thing up right now, whether it be a cupcake or whatever it is, a cigarette, and you say in the name of Jesus, you don't have a hold on me anymore. I'm replacing you with Jesus. Be gone. And then you die daily to the love and the practice of that addiction, just like the Apostle Paul had to do. We say that we want stuff from the Lord, folks. If we really want it from the Lord, we'll exercise faith. There's a reason that it says exercise faith. We don't sit around and willy-nilly say, let's have some faith. We exercise our faith. Faith without works is dead. Here's the work that I'm asking you to do. You pick whatever it is up, and you look that thing in its proverbial eyes, and you say, you've enslaved me. You've had a hold on me. I've lived for you, but I will live for you no more. I have dominion over you. You do not have dominion over me. Food, you are here for me. I am not here for you. And in Jesus' name, get behind me. I no longer have an appetite for you, for this junk, for this trash. I'll use you from now on. You won't use me. I've got a plan. I've got a system, and I'm going to follow it. My bulletproof shield, I believe God has inspired me to use it. I wish that thou were cold or hot, but thou are lukewarm. I will no longer be lukewarm. In Jesus' name, I rise up. In Jesus' name. Here's the part of the challenge today, sis, or whoever you are out there suffering right now. You look at me and you see Travis. You need to look at me and see Jesus. And when I look at you, I need to see Jesus. He's in us and we're in him. He said that we would do the, the very things that he did and much more. You know what? We're not exercising our faith. We need to worship Christ by trying to imitate Christ. We can imitate Christ today. And we can have life and have life more abundantly. Quit trying to do the Shibola shield. Quit trying to do that for a minute. Just put that to the side. How about getting up today and imitating your hero, Jesus? and seeing what would happen in all things. Jesus would do this. This is what I'm going to do. I feel inadequate to pray for you, sister, but I'm telling you right now to live as Christ, die as gain, and if you and I touch and agree on it, in Jesus' name, this addiction can dissipate like that. The things that Paul said, the things that I used to value, I no longer value. 
The things I used to not value, I do value now. Do you have faith? Do you have faith? It's impossible to please God without faith. You got this. Everybody here, are y'all all praying for? You don't need to name, know the name. We don't need to know the name. No. We don't need to know the name. God knows all about it. I love y'all. Somebody have a good time today. I want to know some brother or sister got out there today and had a good time, had a running, shouting fit, praising God, putting those holy hands in the air and saying, bless the name of the Lord. I love you, Jesus. I am drunk on the Holy Spirit. Woo! I'm on that new wine today. I believe we're not patching up an old garment with a new garment today. I feel fresh and I feel new inside and outside. Y'all have a good time today. I'll see y'all later today. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mom. I know they all think I'm crazy. I get it. I probably am. I love you, though. Bye, everybody.